Hi there. Welcome to the YouTube channel of My Financial Shape, the blog where I document the journey of our family of four towards financial independence. We want to reach this goal mainly through dividend growth investing and uh, are working hard towards our goal, which we want to achieve in by the end of 2024. Currently, we have a broad investment portfolio uh, consisting of over 70 uh, dividend paying stock positions. And in this uh, video, I, I want to focus on one of my favorite um, investment holding. It's the Swiss pharma giant Roche, which I um, have in my portfolio since 2011. Before we get into the topic, the disclaimer, we are no financial advisors. You're responsible for your own investment and financial decisions. This video is not and should not be regarded as investment advice or as a recommendation regarding any particular security or course of action. So Roche uh, is a Swiss pharma giant. It's the leader in the diagnostics cancer treatment and has an immensely strong position in biotechnology. Uh, Roche sports a market cap of roughly 320 billion Swiss francs. So one Swiss francs corresponds to around 1.1 US dollar. So we are talking about a, a company with a market cap uh, north of uh, 350 uh, 350 billion US dollar. So it's it's a, a, a massive a company with revenues in the amount of around 70 billion, 70 billion annually and a operating profit of over 20 billion US dollar annually. So it's it's one of the largest uh, European businesses which has been raising its dividend for more than 32 consecutive years, so since 1988. And the company is committed to keep increasing its uh, shareholder distributions in the future. What's interesting, it's a, a company with a very healthy payout ratio, dividend payout ratio between 60 and 65%. So just get let's get get into the cash returns I received since 2011 I invested at the amount of around 2500 Swiss francs for 18 non-voting shares so there are two kind of shares voting and non-voting I decided to to uh, purchase the non-voting due to their higher dividend at that time. This can um, change over time. And if you have a look at the different payouts I received, these are all net amounts. So it's the, the dividend received after fees and taxes. And you see that over the years it increased quite nicely in line with the progressive dividend policy of this company. Uh, I started with a yield on cost of 2.88% in 2011, which means I divide the net amount I received with uh, through the uh, purchase price and it steadily climbed to currently 5.8%. 4 5 percent so it's now in 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 the in the league of a high yield stock even uh, uh, but of course uh, with with considerably um, more stable uh, cash flows and uh, financials than you would usually expect for such a company paying more than 5%. So this is yield on cost. My yield on cost increased. Uh, you see uh, in 2000, between 
2016 and 2017 there is a jump, a huge jump. This was due to the fact that um, the country where I live um, entered into a, a treaty with Swiss, Switzerland uh, with the effect that the withholding tax of 35% could then be lowered to 15%. So I had the possibility to um, receive um, a higher net amount. So these are quite decent returns, uh, roughly 47% of the purchase price or purchase amount of 2,500 Swiss francs have already been returned in form of dividends. But what's also very interesting is the performance, the stock performance. We, you, you, you see a very nice wave dynamic of this company's stock and the performance, it, it became a multi-bagger. Um, but this is just one aspect. The main purpose of our stock investment portfolio um, is of course to generate passive income. And in this respect, Roche has been very, very attractive and very generous. Um, currently, the stock price is higher than in the in, in relation to the price earning ratio. It's higher than in its multi year um, average. It's uh, multi year average has been at a price earning ratio of 14 to 16. We are now in a range of 20 to 22. Um, also, the dividend yield it's lower. It's it's the the, the gross yield is is even below 3%. So it's it's at the, at the higher end of the multi-year development. But nevertheless, this is a, a very interesting and, and stable and dynamic company, which is uh, definitely worth uh, putting on a stock watch list. With that being said, uh, I, hope, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you like this video, please um, smash the like button, subscribe, and thanks for watching. Bye.